Day two of pre-season testing and things were hotting up. Nicholas Latifi turned firefighter when an issue at the rear of his Williams caused his brakes to catch a light, sending him into an abrupt spin which ended his day's running. Alpine ran the special vivid pink Bahrain livery they'll be using at the opening race of the season next week, and Esteban Ocon immediately set about some hot laps before settling into longer stints. The Frenchman becoming the first man to hit a half century of laps and walking away with the fastest time of the morning session. Ocon's afternoon wasn't quite so productive, his A522 slowing to a stop and bringing out the red flag. Maybe he'd got the message that it was time for ice cream back in the garage. Sebastian Vettel's handling troubles from day one seemed to have been ironed out, and his Aston Martin looked much more settled. The four-time world champion clocking up 43 laps before emerging from the pits with a problem, taking the shortcut across turn one and pulling off track completely. Race Control attempted a practice standing restart at the end of the morning session that saw Vettel, Valtteri Bottas and Charles Leclerc all lined up on the grid. But Max Verstappen and George Russell were both caught out when the pit lane exit closed. An extra formation lap was then called to allow the pair to join in, but a hydraulic leak on Bottas's Alfa Romeo forced the Finn to pull over and the session was stopped. Carlos Sainz teased everyone early in the afternoon with a very good lap that lit up the timing screens before backing off in his Ferrari for the final sector. But with the help of some red marked tyres and a slipstream from Hamilton, the Spaniard soon set the benchmark time of the day, almost half a second up on the rest of the field. He followed it up with a thrilling scrap down into Turn 1 against reigning world champion Verstappen, the pair going wheel to wheel through the twisting first sector. But incredibly, Sainz's time would be eclipsed by one Kevin Magnussen, the Danish driver stealing all the headlines as he made his eagerly anticipated Formula One return in the afternoon for Haas, and while getting his first taste of the revolutionary new cars after a super fast seat fitting yesterday. He grabbed the VF22 by the horns on his first flying lap, fighting the car all the way around the lap in typical swashbuckling style. Haas have been granted an extra four hours of additional running after they lost time due to freight delays on day one, and KMAG used it to maximum effect, setting the fastest lap of the day under the lights of the spectacular Sakia circuit. After a torrid 2021, things are looking up for America's only F1 team. Team principal Andreas Seidel says McLaren face a race against time to solve a problem which has plagued the team in Bahrain. Overheating front brakes have limited their running and it was clear that Turn 1 was a particular challenge, Lando Norris taking to the runoff on numerous occasions as he found himself in the new MCL 36 for the second day in a row, with teammate Daniel Ricciardo still too ill to take part. So with just half a day under his belt, it was Magnussen who showed he had lost none of his talent. Sainz sat 0.325 back with Verstappen a further half second behind. Red Bull are bringing a big upgrade to the car tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Lance Stroll was fourth and Lewis Hamilton fifth, both he and George Russell completing a combined 114 laps as Mercedes continue to build momentum. Esteban Ocon and Charles Leclerc were next, with Norris ending the day in P8, despite stopping on track in the closing stages. Vettel was behind him in ninth, with Yuki Tsunoda continuing Alpha Tauri's good progress in P10. Bottas was next, while an exhaust problem limited Magnussen's teammate Mick Schumacher to just 23 laps in the morning. George Russell in 13th was focusing on long runs and was followed by Latifi and Zhou Guan Yu. One more day of testing to go before lights go out for race one, and the pressure is on to make the most of every minute.